Hey everyone, by end of this video, you will know exactly how to sell first Ultravox and create a voice AI agent in your own infrastructure, in your own managed control server. So without much further ado, let's go to the tutorial. The project that we are going to use for this tutorial is called No UV App, which is something that we have built in-house and I'm literally sharing you the crux of what we do at our agency. We help people, we help different businesses self host to different AI solutions and also help them create SaaS application. And I'm literally giving away the source of our own agency because we just don't have enough time to help a lot of people although a lot of people are reaching out for self-hosted voice AI agent solution. So here is the solution. This is completely open source. Just go to this project and follow the instruction as in the video as well as in the video. As this is a self-hosted solution, you need to go into a VM. You need to rent a GPU VM because to host the Ultrabox model, you need a GPU server. It won't run on normal CPU server. Now for that, I'm going to use Mast Compute because Mast Compute actually provides a lot of the cheap options and it will get even cheaper when we use the link provided in the description below also into the github page there will be a discount code as well so if you use the referral link which is of course an affiliate link if you use that that will help the channel and if you use the discount code you get another 50 percent off straight i'm going to show you how exactly you can use that so go ahead and click on deploy and then here you will select a 6048 GB. This will give you 48 GB of VRAM, 6 virtual CPU, 256 GB storage. And as you can see, this will cost you about 54 cents per hour. But if you use our coupon code and then just click verify, it will immediately become 27 cents per hour. That is the cheapest option available in the market today. And then select the SSH key. If you have not created, if you're first time, you can go to settings and create an SSH key, or you can use password and also create your VM. We select base and we select the Ubuntu. That's our favorite OS, of course. And then we click deploy. Maybe we will wait for a few minutes when it will be deployed. While it will deploy, I'm just going to quickly draw how the things will work and how the architecture of this entire system is going to work. Now, if you come here into the main GitHub app, you will see the architecture at the very high level. So in this particular project, we are going to use Pipecat. So that is why we need daily.co WebRTC transport. Uh, we are going to self-host the Ultravox, as you know, and I have already covered in the channel that Ultravox is a speech to Ultravox is a speech to text LLM. So that means it's not just normal text to text LLM. And we are going to use the open source version of it, which is available in Hugging Face. For that TTS service, of course, we need another. Uh, I have shown you previously how to use an open source TTS service. But in this case, I'm just going to use Cartesia because that is one of uh, the providers that I use sometime for our testing. You can use any other TTS service as well. So let's wait for the VM to come up and then we will proceed from there. So as you can see, the VM is now started up. It's showing as running. I'm just going to copy this URL and I'm going to go to ThinLink client. So you need a ThinLink client to connect to these GPU instances or VM instances, which is uh, given by Mast Compute. Again, they have a really good documentation. Uh, just click the ThinLink client and just download it and it's a very simple process basically i'm not going to go through it in this video if you want to really know about it check out my previous video where i have covered this in much more details and i'm gonna attach the link in the video description for this as well and that's it as i said you are going to also get an username and password so if you're not using an ssh key don't worry you can just use the password and log in so i'm just going to click connect and continue and then just gonna click start now as you can see the i am able to connect to the server now the first thing we will do is just go to the terminal and we come to our repository, which is this one. Uh, we just click code, go to HTTPS, copy this link, make sure you use the HTTPS one, come back to your GPU rented VM and then just do git clone and then just paste that and just clone it. And as soon as you have cloned it, you have almost done half of it. Just go inside 
the particular folder where you have cloned it and you will see something called setup no uv.sh just run sudo bash sudo bash i think you don't need to also run sudo you just run do bash setup uv.sh this will run for approximately five to ten minutes while it does all the setup for you so let's just wait for this to finish up and then we will continue once the setup is complete while the setup is running i'm just going to quickly run through about the script what it is doing what it is installing and everything so again i'll come back to the github repository and i'm going to open the setup no uv.sh this is a very well written script i have uh, of course used ai to write uh, most of the script and, and the documentation so it will first do the update package then it will install essential tools that we need to run the server and one of the most important thing is to have the nvidia driver ready or nvidia cuda package ready because we need cuda uh, for this particular llm to run or speech to text model to run and once this is done we are installing all the nvidia driver that is needed we are installing the cuda toolkit and once the toolkit is all done then we are installing docker because we need the docker to run in this case for the fast api based server that we are going to run uh, which will actually help us run this application and test it and once this is all done uh, it's also going to install the docker plugin for the nvidia drivers and we are going to use this nvidia cuda image for the app that we are going to run that will download the ultrabox model and it will run it with uh, cartesia and pipecat project which i'm going to show you that's next and finally it's just going to do docker build that will build the app and then we will run the app so it's a very simple script just go through it it's not even 100 50 lines or 190 lines of script basically most of which have a really good commentary so it's not a really big script but as i said it will take time to set up everything because it's going to install a really large package at the start so please give it some time to run it again i'm going to pause the video and i'm come back when this is going to be set up all done so now the installation is complete as you can see so next thing that we need to do is set up our env file or the environment configs now as you can see in the env example we need to set up a few things by ourselves so we need to set up our hugging face token because we need to download the model weights from the hugging face for ultravox uh, and in this case we are using llama 3.18 billion parameter model uh, we will need the courtesy API key for our TTS. We need the daily C token for the uh, Pipecat to connect with daily WebRTC infrastructure. And these three are actually required to run on 48 GB VRAM because to actually run the, the Llama 3.18 billion, 7 billion parameter model, yeah, even on a 48 GB VRAM, it is not sufficient because we are going to run it on VLLM and VLLM actually takes uh, load the entire, entire model into its memory space that actually makes the memory requirement much more. So that is why we had to set this parameter. Do not change this parameter. Uh, you will not be able to run the ultra box on this particular specs, which is 48 GB. Of course, if you have an 80 GB memory like A100 or H100, that's fine. Then you can run it. You don't have to set these parameters you can run on the default. Of course, when you set these parameters, that means the performance, uh, not the performance, but the model context token window becomes less. We'll talk about that a bit later as part of the video. But let's go ahead and set up all of this token very quickly. So first thing that you need to do is just go to huggingface.co. If you have not signed up before, just signed up quickly into huggingface.co. As you know, huggingface is one of the largest provider of all these open weights go to settings um, and then go to access token and here you just create a new access token go to write just for a quick use give it a name and then create a token i have already created a token so i'm not creating it but if you really want to use it for a production use go a fine ingrained one and select at least the read accesses everywhere and then the make call accesses and then also this read access to all collections as well but for this particular purpose for a quick test just go to write and create a name and create a token and copy the token 
and then come into your server and then just uh, copy the .env .example to .env file and then just add it there okay for the Cartesia go to Cartesia.ai and again there is no affiliate link I am not promoting Cartesia at all uh, in fact if you actually go to their discord you will see I've been criticizing about their credit uh, uh, check policies and all this stuff uh, but yeah I think they are good in terms of the cost if you compare with 11 labs but feel free to use any other TTS really that doesn't matter in fact in the next video I'm going to use actually one of the uh, open source TTS provider with this particular setup and create another video how to use an open source TTS but in this video just going to go is just going to use quickly Cartesia just for the sake of the tutorial length again just create a new API key and that's it then again in the env file set the api key as, as cartesia api key. similarly you need to go daily.co then just register there in the daily.co website when you register make sure click on sign up and then click on daily video not pipecat cloud and then just register there and as soon as you register there you get to your dashboard and from there go to settings and here you can actually Thing, not settings if you go to developers and then you can create an api key from there and use the api key and just copy the api key basically in the env file like here that's it the, all the three things that you need do you need to do before you run it i already have got this so i'm just going to quickly copy that over to the server so as you can see i have already set my env file as well which can, which has got everything and the next bit is basically just to run the particular application and which is what we are going to do so to run the application i need to build this as well so let me just quickly build that i think because i haven't set the env file before it actually did not build it in the previous step which i have missed so basically if you set the env beforehand it will do the build but i think i missed that so what we will do is just for readme and i'm just going to copy this command copy that and just do a paste here just try and do the build quickly and then we can run the app and as you can see it is starting up it's going to actually download the model file and everything it might just take some time to start the uh, download all the models files on the open weight and start I just realized that I had to mention GPU all, otherwise it is not going to load the GPU. I'm gonna update the readme file before you use that. Uh, this is what I missed. Make sure you specify GPU all, because then only it will be able to use the GPUs when it's building the app. Otherwise it will not use the GPU and it will not download the model from our new case. So make sure you do that. And let's just wait for all the models to be downloaded, which will take again some more time. And once the model is there, then we are good to go. And there you go. The app is now started. It has initialized the UltraVox STD service and Cartesia STD service. UltraVox STD service will make sure you have speech to text, that means speech to text to AI LLM processing will be done by UltraVox and Cartesia will provide the text to speech service. Now we are ready to test. Now to test, you need three APIs. Again, all of these are there in the readme file. So all you need is first we check the health endpoint and we need the ultrabox host which is our public api key uh, for that we will go to our vm just copy the public url come here and we just set the url here and again this api is available in the readme we just check health first and the health return okay that means our app is okay to use a pipecat with daily.co of course first you need to create a room so again we ensure that we create a room first and yes the room is created we get a token and we get an url so we just copy this url we need that to run our agent so make sure you run the agent before you join the room because otherwise the otherwise if you join the room no bot will be there to respond so just going to copy that here and that's it and we are just going to do send and now your and the bot is started now so we should be able to now go to this url so we will go to the url now allow this time i'm going to turn off the video and join and say hey can you hear me i can hear I can you now you how can i assist you today there you go. 
this is working. What you can assist me with? I can assist you with a wide range of topics and tasks. What do you need help with? So you can see how you can connect with a voice AI agent and you can speak with it in your own self-hosted environment and it is actually working fine. But of course, with the setup that we have, you won't be able to run like a multiple concurrent inference with this. We need to work on that uh, probably as a next video, we will work on that. But uh, you can start with this particular video and the steps are really, really simple. First, go to the GitHub repository, clone the GitHub repository, execute the setup step, which will actually set up everything in your VM. If you are looking for a rented VM, you can use the link, get a 50% off on your rented VM setup, which will have a A6048 GB GPU that you need to load the Ultravox STD uh, model from Hugging Face. You need a Hugging Face token, you need an Cartesia token. That's what we are using here for TTS. Set it all up, start the Docker container, following the documentation, and your app will be ready, your voice AI agent will be ready to talk with just like we are talking now. So that's it for this video really. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel because on the next video, we are going to run an open source TTS model along with this one, and we will create a really comprehensive, really self-hosted solution on Voice AI agent that you can take, you can run in your own controlled environment. Of course, I just want to put a disclaimer here that the Ultrabox model that we're running, which is based on Llama 3.1, it's not completely open source. So if you want to use it for commercial purpose, I think you probably would need a license. It's not very clear about the licensing term, which Meta Llama has. So be careful about if you're planning to use this setup for commercial purpose, but if you want to just try it out, learn how this entire process works, feel free, go ahead, clone this particular repository. It's open source anyway use it for your own purpose and test it out. I hope you have you will learn a lot by following this process. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the video comments and I will see you on the next one. Till then, please take care.